Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So before we get started on this project and hopefully make this the last video on the CT70 clone bike that we started months ago, a couple, two or three months ago, um, and just have never gotten around to finish it. Before we get started on that, I want to touch on a couple things uh, to have to do with the channel. First, uh, I want to say thank you for a thousand subscribers. We hit that mark uh, sometime last week. And when you hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, it kind of opens up some things that you can do. Um, you know, you can post just a regular post instead of a video and do some things like that. So also in honor of hitting a thousand subscribers, I made a promise to a handful of subscribers that I would change the name back to something similar to the old channel that we had. Um, I had a channel a few years ago. Uh, I let it get a little out of hand. I, I, I didn't uh, operate it correctly and it got a little too much into my personal life. There's a video that I talk about it. And the old channel was Mini Bike Mike's Garage. And when I shut that channel down and kind of let it go away for six to eight months or whatever, and when I restarted the new channel, I did not use the Mini Bike Mike's moniker. Um, but uh, apparently, that is how most of you view me. I, I'm, you know, my name's Mike, and I work on mini bikes, and so a lot of you are really attached to the Mini Bike Mike name. So I have had multiple, multiple requests to change the name back to something that has mini bike mics in it and i told a few people uh, that i would do that when i hit a thousand subscribers well we hit it so uh, if you haven't noticed if you go to the header for my channel it's now mini bike mics the ct70 garage so anyway thank you for that i, I really thank everybody that is uh has followed and is kind of passionate about the channel and the bikes and, and so forth. So uh, um, anyway, that's that. So we're going to dig into this thing. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work and didn't really film it. Uh, you know, I did throw in the engine. I've still never heard this engine run. Let me give a little backstory just so people don't have to go back and watch some of the older videos. Uh, I got the, the frame, frame and the forks from another YouTuber um, up in Michigan. And then a friend of mine contacted me and wanted just a cheapy yard bike to ride around. And, uh, I, you know, here summer's almost over and I haven't gotten it to him. But anyway, so we started throwing just used parts that we had, fenders and rims and tires and headlights and seats and uh, handlebars and those types of things. Just stuff that I had laying around the shop to, to kind of create a, uh, a very low buck project. He picked up this engine, which I really don't know what, how many cc it is. It's not marked on it anywhere. Uh, I'm going to assume it's a 125. It's got a manual transmission. So he picked that up off the of Facebook Marketplace. And I need to wrap this thing up and, and get this bike to him. So uh, uh, the engine is in. I'm not going to run any kind of lights. They're just dummies, just just to kind of give it, you know, a finished look. But there's, we're not going to worry about any kind of lights. Uh, so it's going to have a really simple wiring harness in it, just to make the engine run. I'm going to use the kill button that's on the throttle. I'll show that to you here in a second. We'll zoom in and look at that. Um, but I do need to modify a couple connectors on this. The, this is the the two wires that come down from the kill button up there and they have male bullet connectors on them and this wiring harness has two different connectors for a kill switch but neither one of them are the bullet connectors uh, so we're going to have to get some parts out and make one of those fit so I'm gonna shut you guys down move you a little bit closer so that you can see what I'm doing. Maybe. Maybe I'll shut you down. All right. So, bought one of these cheap 
connector kits off it. Of, I think I've got it off of eBay. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, first thing I'm going to do, I have male bullet connectors up on the top. So, I'm going to grab a couple female ones. See if I can get them out. There's that. Hopefully I'm in camera view. I'll check you here in just a second to make sure we are. It has been a busy summer for for me. Uh, haven't had much time to spend working on bikes. I somewhat retired. I've tried a couple times actually, but uh, I kind of somewhat retired and bought this little building and that I'm in and had a little shop here and working on my bikes and stuff and everything was going along pretty good until COVID hit and uh, then our our business got super busy and so I wound up going back up to Indy to work full-time at the steel shop up there and I've been doing that for quite some time now and uh, haven't had much chance to work on bikes so that's that's why the videos have been kind of sparse too We'll even put a little rubber protector on it so we don't short anything. Well, probably wouldn't short anything out. I guess it would just kill the bike. All right, so that's one end. So the other end I guess I think I'm going to use this one. So I've got over here my little box of goodies. I found I got a male that will plug into that. So we need this has female spade connectors. So we need a couple males. Need those. All right, so enough of that. You've watched me do that. I'll put the other one on there. These get slidden, not slidden. These get slid. <laughs> These get installed up into here, and it'll all plug in together. So, I've given up hope on my little Bluetooth starter and stopper for the video. So I apologize. I'll have to uh, manually hit the button on the phone. So 
I've got my wires made up. Each one has a bullet connector, female bullet connector that will plug in up there uh, on the kill switch wires. And then I have installed the little spade connector on each one. And they just slide into there. And hopefully, and I did, I got the, the black and the black and the green and the green to line up. So now I should be able to plug this one into there. And then I'll plug this into the kill switch. So let's back you up and we'll look at how this gets wired. It's pretty simple. I'll shake you a little bit here. Scoot back. Okay, so this, these two are the two wires that go up to the kill button, and I'm just going to go green to green and black to black. Oh, and I just pulled my wire off. Apparently, I didn't get it crimped good enough. That's a kick in the pants, isn't it? All right, let me shut you down. Let me recrimp that. All right, take two. So, got the kill wires wired up. There are two wires here that come from the coil that I've got mounted inside. Here's the plug wire that goes to the plug. So there are two wires in the harness and you just match those up green to green. And normally the 12 volt coils are black and gold. This one for some odd reason just has a solid black and this one is more gold with a black stripe but that's the two that get hooked together. Oh, am I going to break that bullet connector off? Don't do that. I'm having a rough, rough time of it here. I, I may have broken that connector on that. It's not feeling very good. All right, we're going to go with it. We'll see how, it, see if we get spark here in a second. All right, so then you've got the wiring that comes from the engine. The two yellow wires are for lighting and charging. Since we're not using any lighting or charging, we're not gonna worry about them. The rest of them are just plug and play, black and red to black and red, blue and white to blue and white and green to green. Now these little run only harnesses, a lot of times they come with life and engines and if I'm putting a life in, in a bike that I'm using lights and so forth I don't use these so I, I, I have a, a few of these left over. If you need one you can go to just about any of the suppliers, Trail Buddy, T-Bolt USA, um, CHP, any of them should have these little harnesses so that should be oh we got to plug the the cdi so this connector that's got the the five wires in it it plugs into the cdi and then so the only thing we didn't use was that second kill switch plug-in so so we should have and i'm gonna try and st stuff all this up inside here Maybe we'll worry about that in a minute. We're going to uh, get a spark plug. <laughs> the engine did not come with a spark plug. Let me uh, let me grab a plug real quick. Let's see if we've got any kind of fire. starter either. Hang on just a second. I wasn't very prepared. Just set that on there. Let's see if 
see if we got any fire. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see if you guys can. Got a new camera or a new phone. It's got a little better zoom. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I wish I could hold that. Are you looking, still looking at it? You are. Now I'm gonna reach up here and hold the kill button on the throttle and we should not get spark now. And we don't. I'm gonna let go of the button. And we got fire again. Okay, so all our wiring is good. So I'm gonna take just a second, I'm gonna shut you down. I'm gonna take just a second and I'm gonna see if I can't feed all this wiring back up underneath here. The hard part's gonna get that CDI to push back up here. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. You, you really weren't looking at me what I was just saying, but I'm gonna see if I can't get all the wiring stuffed up underneath the tank inside the frame. So I'll be right back. All right, so I took a second and got all the wiring kind of tucked inside the frame. I've got the fuel line plugged in. I tightened down the spark plug. So we've got that. We'll wind up putting some kind of little connector to hold that over. Uh, while we're here, I've got the clutch cable. Let's go ahead and connect that, maybe. have to adjust that when we when we get there uh let's find the cap for the carburetor let's see what you guys are looking at i'll just try and bring it over here so i've got a throttle cable spring and then the slide good left-handed apparently or something what's going on here get on there not getting it uh, started square I'm on the wrong side I think let's try it from this side see how well we do holy cow snapping back the way I would like. That's not bad. All right, so I think I'm going to get a little fuel and we're gonna see if it, this engine will fire up. So let me go, uh, let me go find some gas, be right back. Now, I didn't crack this carburetor apart. I haven't, somewhere on here. Uh, I haven't, uh, I didn't look at it. I have no idea how long it's set. So, we're gonna see what kind of mess we get ourselves into by putting a little fuel in this tank. I don't have a shutoff valve on the line or anything, so it may just pour out everywhere. Oh boy. Point out all over the top. Let's 
Surely goodness, that's enough. I don't see fuel pouring out anywhere, do you? Oh yeah, we've got it to the carburetor. Probably ought to wipe that up before we try and fire this thing up with uh, no exhaust on it. <laughs> we have set stuff on fire in the past videos, haven't we? Okay, so let's see what happens. I Let's see, let's put the cap back on it. Seat down. There we go. Any guesses? Mm, let's say at least three or four kicks. Well, we're going to have to put a bolt in our kickstarter because i it's, i thought it might hold tight enough but it didn't it wanted to strip around there hang on just a second Let's see what happens. Oh boy. She has some compression. Wow, she's got some compression. I'm gonna have to set it down and kick it. Guys, I might have set it down to kick it. I can't, uh... that engine's got quite a bit of compression. All right, reset you up here. Mm -mm. Well, I wonder if we're Let's see if the plug looks wet at all. No, it doesn't. Got a feeling we're gonna have to pull a carburetor apart, guys. Let's uh, see if we got any starting fluid and give it a little shot. Just to kind of wake things up, let's see what happens. to uh we're just gonna have to do some, some carburetor work it looks like one more time
let me get reset up. Let's finish bolting thin. I can't even speak. Finish bolting some things onto the bike, and then we'll come back to the carbon and uh, worry about it later. Okay, as you can see, I jumped ahead of you just a little bit. I didn't want this video to get super, super long. Um, if you hear a fan, I've got a fan running right there. Sorry about that. But we got the exhaust, we got uh, the engine cradle, we got brake pedal, um, got the handlebars all situated with the levers and so forth, the engine cover, the chain. I have not done a chain guard yet. I'll need to modify that. And I don't have a kickstand. But I think we are ready to tackle this and see why we couldn't get it to run. I'm guessing we're going to need to pull that and get that uh, cleaned out of there. So let me get a stand so I can get you guys set up. And then let's pull that carburetor off of there. First thing we gotta do is get this gas line taken off without creating too much of a mess. You know, we put gas in it and didn't put any kind of shut off valve on it. Ouch. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's, uh, I've got, you know, these little cheapy valves. Okay, does I have a flow direction? Yeah, there's an arrow saying I'm supposed to put it this way. messing the paint up too bad. Well, let's see if it works. Hey, seems to. Awesome. Let's pull the uh, pull the carburetor apart. guys don't need to watch that i'm gonna take these two uh, bolts out of here get that carburetor off of there all right put those on there all right, it's full of fuel Uh, full of crap too. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Ah, I've seen a lot worse. All right, so I'm going to. Rest of it looks fairly clean. I'm gonna uh, take a second and pull both the jets out there and make sure they're clean clean the crud that's out in, in that bowl and then we will get ready to put it back together okay guys i've been where'd the wire go i've been messing with the uh idle jet here 
it's plugged. I can't get a wire through it uh, for the idle circuit. So I think the bike would run if I uh, put this carburetor back together, but I don't think it would idle very well because the idle circuit is, is plugged up. Um, in an effort to save time, because I'm gonna have to uh, work on that to get that cleaned out. I think for today, just so that we can keep moving forward and maybe, maybe, maybe get a little bit of a ride in. It's, uh, <laughs> as I say that, I don't know. You guys can see the rain falling through the top of that window over there, the top of that door that I've got covered. So we may or may not take a ride, but I've got a uh, 22 millimeter carb. Uh, the box has a carburetor, an intake, a filter, and even a fuel filter down in there. Let's see if it will bolt up to the intake that we have. I believe it will, but it's gonna take some longer screws. Longer bolts, sorry. My terminology right here. And I should have taken the slide out of it before I bolted it on there, shouldn't I? Hey, we got it. Where would a wrench go? Oh, it's over there. pull this stuff off of the throttle cable. Another carburetor. And install the stuff for this one. Sure, we put it the right direction so it's not 180 degrees out. It did fall down in there, so we got it the right way. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Okay. Pour some fuel to it. All right, I'm going to get a couple little wire ties or zip ties. I want to get the, the uh, coil, the spark plug wire away from the exhaust. Zip tie that over there. We won't put the filter on it for now. 
because I really would like to put that other carburetor back on it if I can get it cleaned up. So I'm not going to waste my brand new carburetor on this. But let me uh, get some of this tools and stuff cleaned off. Let the table down and then we'll see if it'll fire up. All right. Let's see, uh, see what's going to happen. Think we need to choke it? <clears throat> We're gonna try no choke first. might get a little wet, but I think we're going to have to go outside for a ride. Let's see if our uh, kill switch works. So our kill button does work. All right, let me uh, get out there to the other shop so I get out the door. We might get a little wet, but we're going to take it for a spin. I'll be just a second. I got to go get the bike. probably next Saturday on the next video. See ya. Oh, we gotta have a burnout, don't we? now.